Let's go to page 101, and this is um, section 3-1. And this lesson is uh, to find solution of an open sentence in two variables. So open sentence is something is not solved yet. So you want to try to solve something with the two variables. Okay, okay so let's go over example one. It says solve the equation 9x plus 2y equal to 15 if the domain of the x, so D stands for domain of the x is negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So domain is your input. Okay, domain is your input. So this is like your x, and you can solve for y. Okay. Now to solve for y, um, it's probably better to go and put it in the proper equation first. Right, since you're solving for y, let's go and minus 9x on both sides. So you got 2y equal to 15 minus 9x. And then after you divide by 2, divide by 2. So you got y is equal to 15 minus 9x over 2. Okay, so now you can go and make the table. So here's your x. And your Again, domain is your input or your, your x, so you, you need to find negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So this is a few occasions that you want to go sideways. Normally, you don't want to go sideways. Okay. And so over here, you're going to get y equal to 15 minus 9x over 2. Okay. okay, so let's go and substitute. So you're going to get y equal to 15 minus 9 times negative 1 over 2. Okay. And so you're going to get y equal to 15 plus 9 over 2. And so you're going to get y equal to 24 over 2 will give you 12. Okay. Okay, so here's your solution. So negative 1 will give you 12. So this one is negative 1 comma 12. Okay, so that's your one answer. Okay, now do the same thing. So you got y equal to 15 minus 9 times 0 over 2. So you're going to get y equal to um, 15 over 2. Okay, and in this case, that's it. So you're going to get 0, 15 over 2. Okay. Now keep it as in proper fraction. Don't waste time trying to convert into decimal or mixed numbers. Okay, now for 1, Okay, so you're going to get y equal to, um, so you can just work it out already, so uh, this will give you 6 over 2, okay, which is equal to uh, y equal to 3. So this will give you 1 comma 3. Okay, now you do the 2, so you're going to get y equal to 15 minus 18 over 2. So you're going to get y equal to negative 3 over 2. Okay. Okay, so just keep working and get the next one. So y equal to 15 minus 27 over 2. So y equal to negative 12 over 2. And this will give you negative 6. And so these are your solutions. And that's it for example one. Okay, let's go to example two. Okay, example two said a customer asked a bank teller for three hundred and ninety dollars in travel checks. Some are worth fifty and some are worth 20s. Okay, so, and you're looking for a plus field of number of each type of checks the customer can receive. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so you can set up your variable. So let uh, F equal to number of $50, okay? And let T equal to number of $20. And the total is 390, so you're going to get um, the 50F plus 
plus 20t will give you a total of uh, 390. Okay. And okay, so now you can go and make the table. And again, you can move things around. So let's go and solve for t. Okay, so minus 50, just like previous example, you need to make uh, solve for equation and make a table. So you got 20t equal to 390 minus 50f. Then after that, I'm going to divide by 20, divide by 20. So I get t equal to, I'm going to reduce everything by 10. So I got 39 minus 5f over 2, right? Because all the divisible by, uh, by 10. So once I do that, I can, I need to make a table, okay? Okay, so over here I'm going to put in the F and I can look for T, okay? And since again, since, since all these are, you know, these are, uh, these are the, uh, the checks, right? Travelers checks, okay? and it, it have both of them. So the lowest you can have is one, okay? So I'm start with one. So T equal to 39 minus five times one over two, and then over here, you're gonna get uh, 34, so you can just use your calculator, 34 over two will give you 17, okay. Okay, so in this case, you're gonna get one, 17. Okay. And so, Okay, the solution would be the F and the T. So you have to kind of specify so you know which one is which. So FT would be 117, okay? And then if you try two, it's not gonna work, okay? Then you're gonna end up with uh, 29 over two. And it had to be a whole number, so this one cannot. So as you can see from here that the, the F had to be an R number. Okay, so we know that this cannot, so you have to do the R numbers. So 39 minus five times three over two, and this will give you, um, okay, so 39 minus 15 over two, so equal to 24 over two equal to 12. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna get three comma 12, okay. And so, so you know, the four is not gonna, not gonna work, so you have to try five, okay? And here's another trick, okay? Because this is a linear equation, so everything would be proportional, so you can see, once you get this, you can see the pattern, okay? Notice, when you increase by two, this go down by five, okay? So again, when you go up by two, and this will go down by five, because two fifties will equal to five twenties, okay? And so from here, you can see that this go up by two, go up by two, this will go down by five, go down by five will give you seven. And for the seven, again, you go, go up go up by two, you go down by set up, go, go down by five, so it become two. And that's it, because you, when you go down by five, it's gonna be no good already, okay? And the way to think of it is, you're gonna exchange two fifties into five twenties, okay? okay? Or in this case, you're gonna exchange five twenties into two fifties. So again, ex you go down by five, so that's $100, you get increased by 250s. Okay, so here's your solution. Okay. And again, you can, if you don't believe that, you can go and work it out. Okay. But sometimes if you notice a pattern, it can save you a lot of work. Okay. Okay. Example three. Okay, so find all the positive two integer R numbers. Okay, so write down all the information. So two digit R number with this part. When the digits are interchanged, okay, the result exceeds the original number by more than 36. Okay, so this is a digit problem. So let's go and do that. So this is your original number. So this is 10 and unit digit. And the new number is the digit that interchange. So new number. Okay. 
would be unit and t. Okay. Okay. So since it's two digit r, so that means that that means the unit is equal to r. Okay, unit digit equal to r. Okay. And then let's go and write down. So when the digit reverse the result, so that means the new number exceed the old the original number by uh, more than thirty six. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so you put like this, greater than 36. Okay, so again, the new number exceed or subtract the original number is going to be greater than 36. Okay, so, so in other words, the difference between the two is greater than 36. Okay, so now what we need to do is we, we need to go and put all the things together. So this one is a little bit messy, okay? Okay, so um, the new number would be 10 u plus t okay the original number would be 10 t plus u because this in the tenth place where it was so when, when the the tenth digit is worth 10 that's the reason for that okay okay then you work it out so you got 10 u plus t minus 10 t minus u watch you have to distribute right it's greater than 36 and then you're simplifying, so you're going to get 9u minus 9t greater than 36. Then I'm going to divide everything by 9 to lower my number. So u minus t is going to be greater than 4. Okay. Again, remember, u is going to be r, right? Okay. And from here, we know that the tenth digit cannot be equal to 0. So, so t had to be greater than zero. Okay. Okay, so let's go and make a table. Okay, and I'm going to Okay, I'm gonna make the U and the T and this will be the U uh, will be T I'm gonna put T U because it looks more common. We'll have a T U. Okay. Okay. So first the T had to be greater than zero. Okay. So that means if T equal to one, okay, then the U will have to be um, okay, so you know what? I'm gonna move this over. So U is greater than t plus 4, right? I'm going to plus t on both sides. Okay, so if t equal to 1, then u had to be greater than 5, okay? And therefore, and it had to be r, right? So this had to be r, okay? And so t, so u is greater than t plus 4. So when t equal to 1, then u had to be greater than 5, and had to be r, okay? So it had, that means it would be, so it be, so the, so this had to be 7 or 9. So that means you're going to get 17. Uh, so it'd be 17. So it'd be, okay. so it'd be 1, 7, 1, 9. Okay. So again, t, when t equal to 1, u had to be greater than t plus 4. So u had to be greater than 5. And so our number greater than 5 is 7 and 9. Okay. Okay, now when t equal to 2, then u had to be greater than 6. So again, you're going to get 7 and 9. So it'd be 2, 7, 2, 9. Okay, 2, again, this would be 7 and 9. And when t equal to 3, then u had to be greater than 7, so it will only have 9. So you're going to get 3, 9. Okay? And when t equal to 4, then u had to be greater than Eight, and th therefore it's only be a nine, so it'd be four nine. Okay, and so that's, that those are all your answers. Okay. So again, this is a little bit more complicated, but you have to kind of, you know, break it down and just go through it. Okay, and when you get to five, it's no good already. Okay, because you have to be greater than nine 
and there's no there's no THS graded at night, right? The night is graded, so that's it. 